welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda and this is me in my natural habitat. I have no makeup on. Um, yesterday, which in my life was Sunday, I did a video where I said I only did it because I wanted to do it when I had makeup on and I, I didn't want to put makeup on today. And I did not put makeup on today, obviously. Um, but then this morning I realized I have to, this is my one chance to do this video, which will be coming on Thursday. So you'll have seen that one on Tuesday. Now it's Thursday because I finished my bingo card and it's going to Pals today. So I have to do this now. Um, there are 25 books on here. I am not going to put up a graphic of each video because we'll be here forever. I am just going to tell you the category, what I read for it. Very like one sentence thought on it. Okay, so I'm going to start and do it this way. So I'll go all the way through. So top left hand corner, first row by a Pacific, sorry, <laughs> by a Pacific North Northwest author. So I live in the Pacific Northwest. That is Oregon and Washington, um, British Columbia. It depends on how you how you define it. So definitely Oregon and Washington. And then um, some people include British Columbia and Alaska and Northern California. So however you count it. Um, I did Body Grammar by Jules Omen. Um, these will all be listed below. And then I will also include links if I had uh, video reviews of them, which I really enjoy. That was a really good book for me. For my small press, I did The Lost Journals of the Kahawea by Deborah Magpie Erling. Um, I do have a video review of that one, which I will link below funny which I finished last night because my kids were not gonna let me go to bed without finishing it because they want ice cream today <laughs> it was the world record book of racist stories by Amber Ruffin and Lacey Lamar if you have read or listened to I listen to this I recommend listening to these if you have read or listened to you'll never believe what happened to Lacey this is in the same vein except they include stories from friends and family in translation Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata, which I also read for the Women's World Cup Readathon when I had to read a book from Japan. And then the last category on the first roll, first row, is a band or challenge book, and that was Antango Makes Three by Justin Richardson. I listened to an eight minute audiobook because I needed to get it done. <laughs> I have lots of other band books, but I needed to get that one done. On to the second row. The first square was the award winner, an award winner. And I did The Old Drift by Nam Wally Serpel, which did win a number of literary awards. Um, I don't have them listed here. They're on Goodreads if you want to know what they are. <laughs> also read that for the Women's World Cup Readathon because Zambia was my country, and that book is by a Zambian author. The next category was less than 200 pages. I read Foster by Claire Keegan, which is short. It's good. I really liked it, but it was shorter, even shorter than I expected. Short stories. I read the first prehistoric serial killer and other short stories by Teresa Solana, also for the Women's World Cup readathon because Zambia lost to Spain and then Spain became my country. Um, so that, and then a memoir. I read Messy Roots, a graphic memoir of a Kuwanese American by Laura Gao, obviously graphic memoir. Um, it was good. Poetry. Secure Your Own Mask by Shandell Beers, um, Oregon poet, beautiful poetry, but hard to read because it's about domestic violence. Row three, About a Non-Human, All Systems Read by Martha Wells, which is the first book in the Murderbot series. People love Murderbot. I'm not one of them. It just was not for me. A 2023 release, Lone Women by Victor Laval, which I also read for June on the Range. And then the, I'm in the 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 bonus, the free square, the your choice, and it's the Pioneers by David McCullough, which happened to be the first book I read once I got this thing, and it didn't fit in any category, which is why I put it there. Dystopic or utopic? Um, I read Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Gailey. Um, futuristic Western about leb lesbian librarians. Very fun. And then finally, intimidating. Um, I may have started this in January, but I finished it in the summer. And that is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark. And then I'm on to the fourth row. And the first the first call of the first square is set during the summertime. It was a Lincoln Highway. I'm pretty sure I have a, a video review of that one. Loved it. Great. I did, a, did that one for Big Book Summer. The Old Drift also counted for Big Book Summer. 
And uh, then I had Scary, and I did the Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. I really like T. Kingfisher, but I need to be careful to not, to kind of spread her out or at least spread her kinds of books about because I read two, the two books of hers I've read, the Twisted Ones and before that, A House with Good Bones, were about your grandma's house. And um, <laughs> I think T. Kingfisher, King, T. Kingfisher might have grandma issues. I'm not sure. Favorite author's favorite. Um, I... My post book group, I read Wide Sargasso Sea, which just by Jean Rice, which just happens to be one of Alice Hoffman's favorite. Apparently, it's not her very favorite, which is The Scarlet Letter, but I'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> and then a BIPOC author or story. I had a lot of books that would have qualified for this, but um, I put down here Wash Day Diaries by Jamila Rouser and Robin Smith, which is a graphic novel. A Disabled Author or Story. For my library book club, we read Disability Visibility, which was edited by Alice Wong. And I don't know how you can get more perfect for that square. Last row. We're getting there. Only five more. The Not Your Style. Um, I had Love at First Psych by Cara Bastone, which is an audible, original romance audiobook. Um, romance has not been speaking to me lately, and I enjoyed it, but I don't still don't have a need to go back and read a lot of romance right now. About an older protagonist, an elderly lady. I have the wrong title here. The Elderly Lady Must Not Be Crossed by Elaine Thurston. Fabulous book. Um, an old favorite was The Scarlet Letter, which is why I couldn't put it for a favorite author's favorite. So I had to go for another one of her favorite books. Judged by its cover was The Maiden by Kate Foster, which probably isn't true. I just kind of looked to see which of my books had the prettiest cover. <laughs> and that's because I'm not someone who picks up a book based on the cover, really. It might catch my eye, but that's I don't buy it because of the cover. And I don't put that much um, emphasis on the cover, cover design, actually. And finally, my final one was Famous on Book Talk. So I hope I'm okay with this one. I did Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I am actually not a big book, book talk viewer. I do watch TikTok, but book talk is not a format that I particularly like for my books. Um, really, the only book talkers I follow there are some bookstores and then some people that I follow on BookTube, just sort of as a continuation of following them. But so I had to, I kind of remember Heartstopper being talked about. And so that's why I chose that one. So that's it. So um, I'm going to go grocery shopping and then I'm going to come home and have lunch. And then the kids and I are going to go to Pals. I'm going to turn in my form with my two little cards here. So um, one of them will give me a $5 prize voucher, Woohoo! but they also get put into a drawing and I get extra for doing blackout. Um, so we'll see if I win anything, but honestly, I just really like doing these. I wish more places did this. I would do them all the time. Um, so yeah, thank you for hanging in there. As I said, all the bot titles will be down below and excuse me. And if there's any audio or uh, audio video reviews, I'll include the link to that. So I will, I will rescue you from my unmade up face and I will see you in the next video. If you made it this far, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.